What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Welcome back to another episode of the Excellent Adventures. These are the Excellent Adventures of One Punch Kaijus. I was watching Asian Persuasion's channel, and I saw the deck that he ran into at a side event at our recent UDS, and it was essentially this crazy light machine deck that could OTK your opponents and use a bunch of Kaiju monsters, and I got really interested. I took the deck uh, card by card, and I took it on YGO Pro, played against some competitive decks and you guys are going to see the results this deck is not only crazy explosive it is really fun as well that deck will be in the description below for those of you guys who want to check out the profile and you definitely want to check out the profile but this deck is very similar to like trains or the new yugi gaia supports this is a deck that i believe definitely can top eight a regional because we've seen trains already take two regional top eights in this format and you guys will see some of the uh, plays that you can do with this deck there's a lot of dirt stuff so this is a blind go second deck that's why you guys don't really see me doing that much you play a lot of kaijus those are go second cards you play things like demise of the land now i would have been good having demise of the land but unfortunately <laughs> my opponent opens up with that limited copy of set rotation and we know that dinosaurs do want to go second as well them having set rotation locks me out of being able to use demise of the land which basically means i'm going to get otk there's basically no way that i'm not going to die here unless he just decides i don't want to have a battle phase this turn but uh, you can see right there i'm gonna scoop it up i'm not even going to uh continue to try to play it out because there's no stopping that dinosaur field anyways that is unlucky Sometimes you will go against a blind go second deck um, as this deck is, but you guys will see in the next couple of duels, I'm able to take my revenge. What I like about this deck is even if your opponent makes a really big board, a lot of times it just doesn't matter because you can either Kaiju their best negation monster or you can Mystic Mind them until you get the subsequent pieces and lock out their back row. Plus you play things like Lightning Storm to uh, be able to deal with the, the decks that play a bunch of back row. So you can see right here, he's going to make a crazy board. I mean, Doka, Ultimate Kingdom. Dr. Tyranno, BLS Link Monster, Dino Wrestler Panga Trops. I would have personally went for Lagia, but um, he decides to go for Doka. Regardless, don't even matter. Activate Lightning Storm. Get that shit all off the field. <laughs> then we're going to Kaiju him. We're going to activate Slumber. And then we're going to get one of our win conditions. So as I said earlier... Your win conditions are these light machine monsters. And basically what you do is you get a big light machine monster and then you just crank its attack up constantly during the damage step. You use things like limited removal and this new card, Psychic Fervor, which can double the attack of your attacking monster. It can't attack directly, but you ram it into your opponent's Gamma Seal, so you don't need to attack directly. This card right here, Vic Viper, these are, it's like a, it's a, it's based on the old Gradius cards from like the, the GX era and stuff like that. It gives your light machine monsters uh 1200 attack so you can see we're going to summon him during the uh the battle phase then we're going to activate both of these during the damage step by the way this is really important. This deck's a little bit like Chain Burn. You need to order your chains correctly. This card needs to always resolve uh, first, which means it needs to be the last thing that you activate because this card does make you pay life points equivalent to your attack points. So if you order your chain incorrectly, you can actually end up killing yourself. But you can see right here, I'm going to double my attack first. Again, this card is going to resolve first, which is why I played it last. I'm going to double my attack. I do have to pay the life points, but, you know, it's perfectly fine. Fine, but we're going to one shot our opponent with i believe that's an 18,000 attack kaiju so you guys just see kind of how it works and in game two it's pretty much going to be the same thing now the mystic minds are to slow the game down you can see that he's making me go first that's why also you play inspector border in this deck so you play inspector border against people who are like ah, i'm gonna make you go first because you don't have any plays you just play border on them and border can usually stun a lot of decks so border is kind of like the the safety net or if you play against you know you play against like ultra guys salaman gray a lot of the control decks lose to inspector border and if they make you go first at least you do have a play now this card can put a monkey wrench into things because it makes it so that you can't target so this little bugger this little stupid Stupid token is a problem, but I do play three link Karibo in the uh, in the uh, what's it called in the extra deck. He went into the BLS link monster. This link monster is generally really good, but it's not really good against this deck in particular because number one, you run so many kaijus. Number two, you can usually just attack over it with your kaijus, so like it's not even a problem. But you know things. Um, 
things like the BLS link monster don't really stop this deck at all you can see I'm just getting my field empty he's going to uh, basically have nothing for my evenly match now we just slow the game down with our mystic mind and uh, he does end up getting a twin twister off the top how lucky was that but it doesn't even matter guys because we can still OTK this can you believe this we're still gonna OTK this guy through a 6,000 attack BLS link he's still going to get one shot so since he does have an extra deck card on the field even though we have border we can activate one monster effect and that is more than enough gonna go battle phase gonna activate honest then activate limit to removal i think maybe i yeah i think i did play I, I think i chained that correctly you just have to make sure that your chains uh resolve in the right way so we gain his attack which is 6,000 with the Honest, and then Limiter kicks in, and then we end up, um, you know, gaining more attack. And you can see my attack is 16,000, so even through a 6,000 attack BLS, don't even matter where the one shot of four, 10,000 damage. And it was at this point where I was like, mm, I think this deck is actually kind of real, but again, we went into more competitive matches. Generally, when I tested that, guys, I only play against, like, you know, meta decks. Playing against Mech Knight and Vote, we all know how good this deck is. I actually think that, yeah, this was... I feel like this might have been game two against the Mech Knight guy. Yeah, I think I might have ordered these wrong. So, um, you know, Mech Knight, they want to go second, and you just throw out Border in that case. He does use his impermanence. Yeah, I did. This is game two. So I activate Mistake. Mistake is a card that you run in the side deck. You bring it in because it's good against decks like Spiral and Invoke that want to search a lot. He's going to make the BLS monster thinking that it's good against this deck. As I said before, it's not. We're going to attack Kaiju over Kaiju, except I have the boots. I have to pay a little bit of life points, but that's unfortunate. You can see that all the all his all of his hand traps are not effective against this deck. You guys saw in the last matchup, um, the hand traps is they don't really do all. Well. You'll see in the next matchup, hand traps don't really do that much against this deck. He is able to get instant fusion to be able to out my jizakiru he could have gone for link karibo there but i really don't think it would have changed the game state because once i get border face up and start attacking border kind of becomes a win condition in itself and we do have the mistake as well as long as he doesn't kill us we have the mystic mind this ended up being a 2-0. He's going to scoop when he sees Ash Blossom off the top. It's actually unfortunate because his very next draw was an out. <laughs> he had the purple Nightfall, which he could have played, but I probably would have just stalled him for until I got my win condition with uh, the Mystic Mind. I, I would have just waited until I got a Light Monster plus like an Honest or something like that to be able to kill him. Yeah, that was... I, I ordered these ones different. So that was game two. What you guys are seeing is game one. And in both games, I was forced to go first because Mech Knight wants to go second but that's why you play things like demise of the land keep in mind demise of the land cannot be ash blossom it's not like metaverse it does not uh it doesn't search the card all it does is activate it so if your opponent tries to blind second you generally you can just activate like a mystic mind during their turn at that point it's just sitting here and waiting until you get a, enough resources to just be able to win all these hand traps and he, that he has in his hand they're all completely dead and no one really play people don't play spell and trap removal in their main deck like the only deck that had me a little afraid was basically salaman great you can see we finally got our otk combo where i have jesus kiru we're able to, we're able to just kaiju his monster off the field then it's just going into the damage step activating all of these cards again you always want to make sure psychic fervor is the last thing that you activate so that it resolves first and you don't end up paying yourself to death i think i ended up paying 4,000 life points or somewhere around that but you don't want to pay yourself to death and we have a 15,000 attack kaiju the gamma seal cannot survive final duel is against salaman great Again, all of these matchups are best two out of three. This one, I'm, I'm pretty sure, is actually ordered right. And it shows you, even when Salaman Greats make a pretty strong board, you're able to still combat their board. The Salaman Great deck only has one true negation, which is Roar. And usually, you can either just turn off the Roar by just tributing their monster for a Kaiju. You can just tribute the... Um, the sunlight wolf off the field or you can just bait it out with like evenly matched then you activate mine and then just like stall 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 so uh basically you know we're gonna go ahead and evenly match him here i was i'm not gonna lie i was so salty i got a huge evenly match the one thing is he happened to make Bagusta, which actually like cripples this deck because if he would have made like a best dweller i probably would have just summoned border set a copy of fervor and then just like one because border just auto wins against salamangrates but if i summon my border it goes to defense 
defense mode and then he just runs it over and i'm like okay now i can't win i guess i could evenly match him from my hand but i wouldn't have a win condition i thought i was safe but he, he's gonna actually otk me i was so salty about this otks me with the bagusta still in defense mode he's gonna go for the trans k uh the trans code update jammer play i was so mad man <laughs> sound man great catching me with the cheese threw an evenly match through the roar loses all his resources has two dead hand traps doesn't matter still otks me and my next card was, ex was extravagance too so i think if i would have just had the border in defense mode and let my border die i feel like i probably could have been good because i would have extra i would have got my draw well no i would have drawn the extravagance drawn two more cards he would have drawn me but you know draw doesn't do anything and i think i would have been okay as long as i drew like mystic mine or something like that anyways uh game two we're gonna hopefully not get otk cheese by salaman greats you can see that he brought in things like evenly matched because he assumes that he's gonna go second there's another thing that's nice about this deck people think that uh they're going second in like games two so they bring an evenly match and the card's dead now he tries to go for the same cheese he's like cap i just otk'd you with this 41 cheese so baguska is obviously good against you so i said okay that's fine you think it's so good against me he's gonna draw doesn't do anything against this deck activate mystic mind <laughs> basically just stall until i can get my win condition i think i actually have it or we're gonna activate extravagance and we're going to see yeah we're gonna use slumber Jizukiru on field. He can activate the draw and lock bird, but it doesn't matter. We're going to use Honest, and then we're going to activate Limit to Removal. Boom. Uh, 8,000 damage right there. Almost 9,000 damage straight to the face. Luna is another good option for this deck. It's like another normal summon. Basically, you guys know what you can do with Luna. You can kaiju your opponent, summon Luna, bounce the kaiju, and then kaiju your opponent again if they have multiple like disruptions. That's, that's a way of outing like the, uh, the spiral board. And anyways, this is the final game. This is basically as grindy as you're going to get uh, with this deck. And if you guys are wondering why a lot of these blind go second decks like trains and stuff are running Mystic Mind, it's for this reason. It's for when the opponent opens up really well and you don't have your OTK, you can just activate Mystic Mind and you can sit on your, you can sit on, sit on cards in your hand until you get your OTK. Wow, this guy, did he actually, is, he, yeah, this is, this is, I, I thought it was the same duel. <laughs> it's not. Because <laughs> if you remember in the last duel, he said even, this guy really thinks that number 41 just beats this deck. <laughs> he goes for it like four times anyways i know that i have to get rid of roar otherwise i can't win so we're gonna get the evenly match we're gonna throw the evenly match at him just the roar and then we're going to set our demise of the land if he didn't special summon he could probably it like it, it, i guess he would have to go his whole turn without special summoning i don't think that that's realistic because roar could obviously hurt me but i figured he'd special summon he does we activate uh the the demise of the land getting us mystic mind now all we have to do is just hope that he doesn't hard draw salmon great rage if he doesn't hard draw rage i'm just gonna 100 kill him because i can one shot him through any attack position monster i am gonna make a mistake here uh, a little bit later and he does activate anti-spell fragrance which makes the game a little slower it makes it a little more difficult um, my mistake right was right here it was throwing the kaiju out for some reason i was just like thinking oh man if he gets rage and he can juggle it he could pop two cards i don't want him to get rage but it's really stupid to throw your gamma seal out like this if you're not gonna go for the otk because your opponent will link away the gamma seal and then if you draw jizakiru you can't like otk them so you guys will see why that was a mistake because i think i'm going to end up drawing jizakiru and if I would have saved the game so I could have just won that turn because honest is not a hard once per turn It's a you know super old card from from light of destruction. You can use multiple honest in a turn and uh, Limits or removal these cards are not hard once per turns, which is why this works So you guys can see I've got half of my otk just sitting in my hand if I would have had the game So I would have already won now. We finally draw another gz kiru and that's all I need to win. We're just going to go uh, damage step. We activate honest, honest, limit to removal, and then a psychic fervor. And I think we're going to get somewhere around 18,000 attack. It's going to be pretty damn high. The greatest thing is, yeah, all of this happens during the damage step. So the only thing that can stop these cards are counter traps. But the thing is, a lot of counter traps like Solemn Judgment and Solemn Strike for like honest, they cost you light points. So even if your opponent does use things like Solemn Judgment, they pay themselves in half 
half and usually you can otk them anyways because now they're at like four thousand life points so generally speaking when you assemble your otk you just kind of win and you just activate things like mystic mine and one day apiece until you have your otk i mean don't get me wrong it's a 100 cheese derp deck but for, by the time people catch on to what you're doing you've basically already won the game so <laughs> as of right now this is the deck that i'm probably going to run i think this deck is a whole lot of fun i'm pretty sure that i'm running this deck card for card i think i may have changed one thing one or two things in the extra deck and uh because i know he was running tiramisu because it's like his favorite card in the game the extra deck honestly doesn't matter outside of link karibo for some of the uh the dinosaur lost world tokens it really doesn't matter what you play in your extra deck to be honest the side deck i think i have card for card maybe like a two card difference but this deck is a whole lot of fun guys if you're looking for a go second deck that can super cheese your opponent really lay the smack down on them i implore you guys to check this deck out of course it'll be in the description and the video uh, that was posted on asian persuasion channel will be on the description uh will be in the description below as well anyways thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos